Hello friends. Today I would like to show you a very unusual, uncommon and super duper healthy tropical fruit uh, that goes by two different English language names. One is Acerola cherry and another one is Barbados cherry. And of course it's not a cherry. It's just to compare it to a colder climate fruit. The Latin name of it is Malpighia amarginata. And what is super healthy about this fruit is that from all the tropical fruits it has supposedly the highest concentration of vitamin C per weight of a fruit. Similarly, like in a colder climate, the rose hips of wild roses um, are highest concentration in that climate. That's why before we had synthetic vitamin C, vitamin C pills were made from rose hips of wild roses and from the fruit of this very unusual fruit called acerola cherry. Just like a rose hips, it's not sour. You might think it's sour because it has a vitamin C high, but no, it's not. This is the special flower it has and this is the special fruit it has. When it's very ripe it can get very dark red. And uh, there is also a very dwarf variety. I made several videos about that in past. I will put a link to it under title in description in the subtitle. And I made, I'm growing that and also my own cultivar of dwarf. I'm, you, if you're interested, you can see the video, but this one is much more practical to get vitamin C into you because the fruit is not the size of a sweet pea. And uh, I don't know why not too many people grow it, but I have a hunch. My hunch is that most of the trees I see have no fruit and most of the not fruiting and most of the ones that are fruiting are not having so many. I guess I'm lucky that I have a big season every day. They're ripening actually more than I can eat. Some are falling on the ground. Especially if the birds poke into them, you see. And uh, just like the dwarf variety, it has a three seeds inside. And um, those seeds is close to impossible to sprout. That's why people grow it from cuttings. But uh, me being who I am, I am planting seeds in hope it'll sprout because by doing it again and again with a dwarf one, I got some seedlings with a special cultivar, which instead of having this kind of smooth bark, have a very corrugated, very thick bark. And it's very dwarfish kind of plant. Let me show you. This is a dwarf acerola cherry. This is dwarf acerola cherry's flower buds. This is dwarf acerola cherry's flowers. And this is ripening but not completely ripe dwarf acerola cherry fruit. So you can see it's so small it's good for a bonsai, but uh, you would have to eat a lot of those little ones to get the vitamin C in a large amount. 
and uh, now I show you by planting again and again the hard to sprout seeds of it how I got instead of this kind of bark that's relatively smooth to very corrugated moment here it is very corrugated bark and it has a similar uh, leaves like that regular dwarf one the easy way uh, is uh, not only that you can uh, if you get a twig you can root it but even easier in case of dwarf one is uh, a root cuttings very easy to root is it possible to also uh, multiply the regular acerola cherry from root cuttings that I have no idea I never tried yet and so my friends if you would like to plant and grow such a tree one place to buy it is from more than one seller on etsy.com that's where I see it's currently available and so my friends this is the end of a nice story about nice and healthy fruit that looks like this when it's green, when it's unripe, it's completely green, right? Called Acerola Cherry that is falling when the birds poke into them. Yeah. Okie dokie, artichoke. See you later, my friends. Goodbye.